the School of Aquaponics. Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics, and this is episode nine of Ask the Aquaponics Guy. You've got questions, and he's got answers. This question here is coming from Sean. My fish keep swimming to the top of the surface, and it looks like they're trying to eat something at the top of it. Could you explain what is happening here? Boom, so we got fish swimming at the top of the tank. It looks like they're either eating uh, the, the surface water or they're gasping for air. You're not really sure. So there's a few things that we need to consider. There's a few reasons why the fish could be doing that. And there's, um, so we need to diagnose exactly um, what it could be that's causing the fish to do this. And primarily what it's gonna be due to is a lack of oxygen. There's a lack of oxygen or some point in the system that's causing a lack of oxygen to um, cause the fish to, to act in this manner. So we're gonna start with the water quality. This is the first place that I want you to start is the water quality. And we're gonna test um, primarily ammonia and nitrite. Ammonia and nitrite. These, um, when they get to certain concentrations inside of the tank, they become toxic to the fish. They become toxic to the fish. And ammonia, what it does is it begins to destroy mucous membranes on the, um, the fish gills. And when it destroys the mucous membranes, what it does is the, the, the fish gills, they begin to produce new cells on the, um, on the, the gills. And then that, those new cells swell up or causes the gills to swell up. And that impedes the flow of water coming through the gills. And when you have an impedance um, or something um, hindering the flow of water coming through, that also means that there's not enough oxygen that's being supplied to the fish. The fish is not being able to take up the amount of oxygen that is required. So what I need you to do is to test your ammonia. You need to be testing your ammonia. You need to make sure that the ammonia is not high, the concentrations are not high inside of your tank. So, um, so we can eliminate that, um, that uh, option of causing the fish to not be able to um, access enough oxygen. And also, we need to uh, test our nitrite. Nitrite also has effect. High amounts of nitrate, nitrite also cause um, reduced um, respiration capabilities of a fish. So it reduces the amount of oxygen that the fish is able to uh, take up. So we need to test for our nitrite as well. Nitrite could be the culprit. So we definitely something that we need to take into consideration. And if you're having high ammonia and high nitrite levels inside of your tank, what you need to do is you need to low, uh, fall back on feeding the fish. That's one thing that you need to do. Fall back on feeding the fish for a few days. Or if it's that, if it's in, in that much of ex, uh, excess, then you may need to change out some of the water. You may need to change out some of the water. When in doubt, change the water out. Keep that in mind. So it's obvious that the fish are not getting enough oxygen um, passing through their gills. So um, the last thing that we want to check for is we want to test and make sure that there's enough dissolved oxygen inside of the system. Because it didn't matter if there was a high concentration of ammonia and nitrite in the system. If you didn't have a high enough dissolved oxygen level in the first place, then everything else didn't matter. They, whether if it was a low amount, if, whether if there was no ammonia or no nitrite in the system, the fish didn't have access to any oxygen to begin with. So we need to check and make sure that you have proper aeration or proper dissolved oxygen levels um, inside of your system. And there's test kits that you can use to ensure that, um, that the dissolved oxygen levels are exactly where they need to be. Um, so you should go out and uh, purchase a, a test kit and be testing your system to make sure that it's operating in the right zone. Because if you don't have the correct there's, there's plenty of, everything in your system, everything in your system uses dissolved oxygen. The bacteria, the plants, all the microbes, everything is consuming oxygen. Um, and also, depending on the temperature, it, like if it's a, um, if it's, if your, your tank is running at a high temperature, the, the, the available dissolved oxygen is going to be a lot lower. It's going to be a lot lower. So you need to test that to make sure. And if it is low, then you just add more aeration to the system, add more aeration to the system. And that, should be able to uh, solve your problem. And on top of the low dissolved oxygen levels, a lot of times you can have high CO2 levels. And this is not a, um, uh, an optimal environment for the fish. So they're trying to uh, obtain 
ex uh, extra oxygen to meet their um their their demands. So we need to find a way to get that to them. Either you need, we need to get rid of the ammonia, the nitrite, or we need to um, provide more dissolved oxygen into the system. So hopefully that answers your question, and you won't have your fish eating the top of the water anymore. It's Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Toodles.